Okay, so I just really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for even coming and embarking on this journey with me when I decided to relaunch Dope Genius Society membership. Like I've had a membership at least four times. And so this membership that we just did in 2021 was the best membership. I think it was just the best membership because I had plans to be there. Like a lot of people have memberships and it's passive. You know, they really don't put a lot of work into it. Um, but for me, I decided that membership was exactly where I wanted to be since I stopped doing sessions and just stopped doing a lot of service things. Membership is where I actually wanted to be. So since that's where I wanted to be, <clears throat> um, I put more into it um, this time than I did any other time that I did it. And so I think that because I decided to really engulf myself in membership in 2021, um, that we had the success that we've had. And so um, before we get into the next part of the meeting, I really just want to first congratulate you guys for just really um, killing it like you guys have done. Like as a grand total of everybody that has been in membership, totally collectively, you guys from what was reported to me did 3.8 million collectively. Like everybody collectively from me asking you guys about your numbers and things of that nature from a collective standpoint, um, you guys have did $3.8 million. And so I think that that is, you know, deserves a hand clap for um, those particular numbers. And so I want to give our metrics. So we had 91 people when we started membership um, in January. As of now, which is going into December, we have 48 people left um, in membership. So we started off with 91 and we have 48 left. 40 people paid in full for membership for the entire entire year. So my report is 91 people in January. Then we had 90, we had 91 people in February. We had um, 90 people in February. And then in March, we had 84. So that was our first quarter numbers. And so I really think that for the first quarter, I think it did well. Um, but I also think that people fell off <clears throat> just because they realized that they didn't have enough. You know what I'm saying? Like in this membership, it was definitely for supposed to be for those that wanted to add an additional $5,000 a month to what they were already making. But in that first month, they kind of realized that they didn't have enough to be able to make the type of money that they wanted to make. And so I think that um, after that first quarter, people just kind of just fell off. And I've seen that with waves of my membership, my client's membership, membership that I've built is that first month, um, it, you get this influx of people, like everybody sign up because they're excited. But then when the work starts, you know what I'm saying? Like they fall off. And so I think that's why the numbers have kind of fell off. But then if we go from um april which was 80 people and then may um it was 63 people in june in june we were at 55 people and so i think that if that decline in membership was really people say they want to work but then they don't really work and it's an investment too. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's over $300 a month for the investment. And so you're figuring out, am I using these products and services? Am I coming to the class? You know, maybe life happened and then they weren't able to uh, facilitate things. Yes, Jimmy, the outside opened back up too. And so before, you know what I'm saying? Like we were inside, but now outside has opened up. And so that's where you have to really think when you're planning your products and your services. And so I always tell people like, what's first quarter? What's, what's second quarter? What's third quarter? What's fourth quarter? Well, we're outside, you know, it's hot outside. So we want to be outside. We want to do things. Um, so we're not cooped up in the house and it's cold. So you really want to go out. And so I think that that has been um, the decline too. Like people have become just more social. And so, yeah, what was working fourth quarter and, um, you know, second quarter, now all of a sudden, you know, you want to not do those things anymore. And so totally understanding, but with my membership, it's not a revolving door. So you can't leave and then come back because going into after second quarter was over, um, third quarter come and I'm getting a, a flood of emails. Like, are you going to open membership? About? Like, when can I come back in membership? Like, I'm ready to get started. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm ready to do the work. Well, my membership is closed. It's not a revolving door. So if you leave, you just left. Like, I'm not opening it back up. Like, it's a full commitment uh, for a membership. And so 
out of those people that left, I had at least 20 people like, hey, when it's going to open back up, can I get back in? Like, you know, I'm, I'm willing to pay whatever to get back in. But my rule is if you left, you left. Like, you can't come back. Whatever the situation was that you left, sorry, you have to go. But you can't come back. I'm not reopening it. And so um, I think that if I had a revolving door um, for a membership, I definitely know that I could have rec- recouped those members um that left but that's not how I operate and so they were just there so from a money standpoint I definitely could have recouped those people to come back and definitely increase my cash flow however from a Bianca standpoint it's not worth it to me to let those people um back in like you left you what for whatever reason we're still on task because now I have to go back reteach them give them the things that they didn't get since they were gone and that throws off the flow of what we have going on and I don't feel that it's fair um, that you leave and then you come back and then you're expecting that same treatment and so I just want to you know rally with the people that's been loyal to me I don't I don't want to go back to reteach you when if you would have stayed you would have got that information but I also know that life happens and things you know change but just for me and my people and how we rock together I, it, was, it was just a no um, for me so from a money standpoint I definitely could have got those people recoup those people increase my overall bra line but I am definitely like I said I'm dedicated to membership and this is where I planned that I was going to be and so I'm not about to let you come in and come out and come in and come out and so I think that's what makes our membership different too is that it's not a revolving door you know what I'm saying you can't come in when you feel like that like if you hear you hear if you leave you left um and so I think that's where those um numbers fail drastically and so then if we go to July uh, we have 55 people in August, we have 55 people in September, we have 55 people. So we've been consistent, um, you know, for uh, a quarter as to having a consistent 55, but you got to think 40 people paid in full. So it's only 15 people if we do 40, right, minus 55, that's 15. So it's only 15 people um, that pay every single month everybody else is locked in it's 40 of us that's locked in and so I've had the 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 chance to really get to know um the 40 people that have been consistent that shows up for the trainings that really rock but that 40 is not a real 40 because it's 40 people that have paid in full but it's only about 23 of us that show up consistently put in a word come to Q&A you know, um, um, answer questions, you know what I'm saying? And just really involved. So even though I have 40 people that paid in full, it's only about 23 of us that have been here every single day putting in, putting in the work. So I want to just make that clear of, yeah, I have people that paid in full. And so that was great for my cash flow in the beginning. Um, but I'm only getting 15 people at that, um, you know what I'm saying, over $300 a month mark paying me every single month. So when you think about membership, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be a passive income stream, but it's not passive for me like that anymore because I've had 40 people, you know what I'm saying, pay in full. So it wasn't as passive as most people would think because I really only got 15 people, you know what I'm saying, every single month. And so that's why I tell you that it's really good that you need to, it's a must that you diversify your overall income streams because if I was just dependent on membership alone because whatever the lump sum of money I got in January that was in January right so now if all I had was membership at that 15 uh people a month times 300 and something right then that will be all that I had and so I'm really big about diversifying your income streams uh, for many reasons but that's one of the main reasons even though I am here it's not passive for me anymore. And so now 55 was like, I guess until like maybe October, but now we're about to go into December, it's 48 people. So that means I got 40 people that paid in full, but I got eight people that is paying, you know what I'm saying, every single month. So we went from 91 people at the height when membership started to now we're at the end of membership and it's 48. 40 paid in full, eight people are still, you know what I'm saying, paying their payment every single month. And so from the metrics, um, I want to talk about from the 91 people as a whole, because I went back, I spoke to those people um, and really, you know what I'm saying, just seeing their numbers, where they are, what kind of growth and projections that they've had. And honestly, I got so much good feedback. Like, you know, I wasn't ready for membership, but I used what you told me, you know, and I wish I would have stayed, but you know, these are my numbers and this is what I've done. And, you know, I've used what you've taught me. You you know, to help me, I buy your classes and courses. So even though I'm not a membership, you know what I'm saying? I'm still involved in all of the stuff that you do and you've helped me tremendously. And so from those 91 people, the metrics is 13 people hit six figures. So 
that's a really big deal because six figure is the goal for so many people to hit. And so in membership, 13 people hit six figures, which is great. One person hit seven figures. Okay. Like one person hit seven figures. They were already making, I think half a meal, you know what I'm saying already, but they added, you know what I'm saying? Digital products. They they added intensive they added more systems and things of that nature from being in membership and so they were able to make that income up and hit a million dollars so we had one person um that hit a million dollars we had 21 people hit four figures a month consecutively right and so four figures a month consecutively we had three people at five figure a month consecutively and so for me consecutive is you did it for at least a quarter so that's consecutive to bianca right you've done it for at least a quarter you can eat off of it for three months. And so consecutively, um, we've had three people hit uh, the five figures. Um, 20 people though, quit their job and became a full-time entrepreneur. And so I think that that is absolutely positively um, amazing that 20 people actually took a chance on themselves and now they are full-time entrepreneurs inside of their business. And so I think that that is great. Um, and it means a lot to me. The other numbers are great, but for you to really take a chance on yourself and figure out that you have enough confidence to just do this on your own um, was one of the most important numbers to me. Like you stop doing that to really focus on this and give it everything. And so of those 20 people, right? Some of them are the people that hit six, six figures. You know, some of them are the people that did a uh, four figure month consecutively. Some of those people are the ones that hit five figures, right? So some of those people that have became a full-time entrepreneur were able to put all of their ammo into it and get these particular numbers, okay? Um, 33 people added digital products. And you know, that is one of my things that um, I'm very passionate about. I definitely feel like you can't grow and scale from a service perspective. You only have two hands, right? And you only got one brain. It's only 24 hours in a day. And so what scaled my business to seven figures wasn't services. It was literally digital products. And it gave me the time and the freedom that I needed to be able to create um, things on a, uh, on a better wavelength. Okay, so like I said, 33 people added digital products inside of their business, which is really amazing. Um, also... Now let's talk about metrics that are not directly related to money because I think that we think that the metrics that we have needs to be related to money all of the time. And I don't think that that's true um, at all. You know what I'm saying? Other people have KPIs, but you need to figure out what are your key performance indicators so that you can know if you're going too slow, if you're going too fast, like what's valuable and what's important to you. And so I think that most people think to have these vanity numbers. And so I'm definitely one of those people that is so stuck on a profit plan. Just how much I said I'm going to make, this is what I need to do to be able to make it. And so a profit plan is very important to me, but I also have other goals that I measure success by. And so those numbers is 12 people have been pushing their cause to action every single day. And I think that that is amazing because now you're not afraid to sell. You're actually out here saying, this is what I have to offer. This is how much that it costs. Um, this is what it requires for you to get those type of results. And so many people are out here giving valuable information, but they don't push their calls to action. And you work with me. So I teach you, why are you out here doing this for free? Why are you out here giving all this good information? It's like a good movie and you watch it and it's good. And then it go off and now you may have went off. Like that was dumb. That's how you guys look when you give all of this amazing information in your content, a client success story, you know, um, um, you being on the news, you know, you being featured, whatever the case might be, you getting all of this press and all of this publicity and all of these eyes on you. And you're just like, well, okay, bye. Like you did all of that for nothing. And so it's because first, you don't know what the call to action is. Two, you don't know how to spend the call to action to it. And third, you really don't have no damn call to action. Like you're just out here posting and working, but you're not, you haven't figured out how to monetize that. And so for that, for people to constantly give their call to action, so because I'm so big on what's the upsell? Like what, what's the upsell? Like, okay, before you do that, what, what needs to be done first? Because you're going to get, what you need from that but what is it that you need you just look for likes you just look for comments are you looking for um testimonials like what's the metrics that we're going to measure this success by and so understanding that and those people consistently doing that was something that it was important to me uh, 12 people went live consistently and you know i mean consistent consistent to me is consecutive for three months and so 12 people went live is one person that 
break out in hives before when they used to have to go live like literally used to throw up before they put the camera on and so now I see them and they're really out here just killing it you know it means everything to me that they have developed this confidence to be able to go out here and tell the world what they have to offer and put themselves out there to be ready to ask for the money and so I like that um aspect of it um as well I've definitely have seen you guys um find your business bestie and so that's one thing that I have really been good at is bringing good people together from my in-person workshops and trainings just from my community it's the same people I bring together the same people so if you buy this one class you're probably going to be in the next class um and so people have joint ventures and done businesses together I've seen you guys go live together I've seen you guys fly out you know what I'm saying and meet one another I've seen people go through just life happenings you know um people down from COVID and cancer and divorces and things of that nature. And we've really came together as a community and you guys have really been there um, for those people, strangers that you met inside of my program and developed a real, you know, partnership, sisterhood, um, family. And so I really don't think a lot of people have that going on inside of their memberships. And so I really think that for us to come together and I am really big on collaboration and community I'm really big on you know I know my area of expertise but I'm able to really be coachable and I think that is very great characteristics that I possess as a leader is that I know how to lead but I'm also a very good follower and people don't give those that follow credit but in order for you to lead you have to know when to step back and be in the background you have to know you know like yeah this is my membership but that's your training you don't have nobody to help with your training I'll come and help with your training okay that's your event you don't have nobody to help you pass out the stuff I could come see your event and help you pass out the stuff this your event you don't have nobody to help you clean up I can help you clean up right and so it's for me it's a collaborative community effort as you pour into me. And so I have no problem with pouring into you. But that's also one of my things too. Like you left me, so you can't come back. Like I'm here, I'm giving all of this. You decided that you ain't want to be here. Cool, for whatever situation that was, you can't come back. And so it's kind of a gift that I have, but it's also a curse too. Because I feel like if I'm rock with you and I'm here and I am the support that you need and then you left, I don't really trust you to come back. And so that's something that I am working on. And so that's why I don't open a lot of stuff all the time. That's why I'm very niche specific and very tight knit to what I offer and who I serve and why I serve those people. Because I feel like if I am here giving you my all and you not receptive to it, let me take my shit back. And so I've always been that. I've always been that way. I don't know if it's the Libra in me. I don't know if it's the Bianca in me, but I have been this way since birth and I operate that way in my business. If you are my client or my customer and I'm giving you all this shit and you're not using it, let me back up. Because, and it could be you're not ready for it. Maybe it could be it's just too much. Maybe it could be this is not how you was trained. This is not how you grew up. Whatever the case might be, I haven't figured out the psychological part to, to make it make sense to why you're not doing what you said you wanted, I have gave you what you wanted, I am here, you're not taking it, so when you come back, I'm already checked out, you said you wanted it, we did this in January, I'm not teaching what I taught in January, in, in, in June, like, it's a no, it, you can ask all the questions in the world, I'm gonna refer you back over there, or I'm not going to answer, because I was there, I was present, I was ready, I was ready to give you that, you didn't want that then, I'm not on your time, you on my time, like, this is my membership, so we're on you know, a, a time frame, And so that's one thing that I know about me and it is not going to change. So it's not like I'm working on it and I want to be better in that. It's a no. Um, and so I really appreciate you guys for just being in membership and understanding the way that I flow because some people like it and some people are with it and some people don't. And so I'm just really proud of myself for staying true to who I am. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, that's cool too. Um, but I haven't wavered since the beginning. I've been the same person from when you join membership in January to this person that we are now that membership is about to close. And so I just really wanted to give you these stats. Just thank you for rocking with me. This is our most successful year as we've done membership and I'm going to do membership again um, in 2022 I can't speak for 2023 because I wasn't doing membership again in 2022 um, but I've decided that to move some things around and this is where I can actually give my all again and so I'm dedicated to helping the new wave of people that's actually going to come um, in some membership and so I want to open it up to see if you guys have any questions I can take you off mute and you could talk about 
you know, um, your journey and membership, you know, any accolade that you want to talk about, you know, from your perspective, I can take you off mute so that you can talk. So I'll give it maybe a couple minutes to see um, if anybody wants to give their take um, on membership. Um, if not, then we can close it out. Go once. Okay, Monique. Go ahead, Monique. Hey, Bianca. Hey, everybody. So I just want to say that thank you. I appreciate you. I love you, girl. This was amazing. The best membership that I've ever been in. I've been in a few memberships and the community that you allowed us to be in and to grow and the people that we did meet and build relationships with and everything that you have taught us is just valuable that we get able to continue to implement businesses from years to come. Even all us, we haven't even implemented from video stuff that we haven't watched or we did watch our trainings that we was on but still haven't implemented just having those resources to go back and still figure it out is just powerful so i appreciate you for everything that you have done and i appreciate you for continuing to push us to be our best self as entrepreneurs oh thank you so much monique i appreciate that thank you um thank you so much anybody else as you said, I'm definitely appreciative of the group. I've enjoyed all the community engagement and lessons. This has been a really valuable resource. Um, Jamila for business, I started this year. I went from zero to a thousand dollars per month with only about three to five hours of work each month. This was a pilot program, so I know what to do now as I go into the new year. Huge success for me, given my limited time. I'm definitely appreciative of this group. Thank you, Jamila. That is amazing. Um, Anybody else want me to take them off from you? If not, we'll close out. Um, Latashi, okay. Let me see. So I just wanted to say my expectations for myself coming into this was to get around those that I absolutely needed to be more like in my business from showing up every day, just having that mindset of what an entrepreneur is supposed to have, being around other people that look like me to get this information, to know that I'm not the only black girl out here trying to make ends meet and build an empire or build six figures or build whatever it may be. It really was a community that I needed during COVID, right? I had two babies in COVID, I, um, marriage in COVID, like this, uh, don't have no family where I live in COVID like you guys were the people like my people and it really helped me grow to get to where I needed to be to leave my full-time uh, corporate anxiety field position and, and and believe more in myself to mm -hmm to do the things I needed to do to be happy and whole so whether I meet my goals this month, next month, next year, I've been around those women to, to, to prove to myself that I can do it. You know what I mean? So there's no giving up over here at the AB contract. So thank you guys. And thank you, Bianca. You're welcome. That was deep. Got me crying. Um, go ahead, Dr. Antonio. Um, I, I don't even know where to start and I don't want to take up a whole lot of time. But I think the biggest thing I want to say as someone who's been in business for a very long time, the, the biggest thing for me is that I have been able to learn structure around my area of expertise. Like we're good at doing what we do, all of us, but how do you structure it? So it's a profitable, consistent business, particularly with passive income. And being in this membership has given me the structure that I need on the back end in order to have a business that I love because my business has started to become, um, it, it has started to feel heavy and like cumbersome and it was overtaking my life and I definitely did not want that. And so being in membership gave me the jump start to the structures and the systems. It also, of course, gave me community. I got the opportunity to meet some other amazing, you know, women who have stepped into this, this space of entrepreneurship. I think the other thing is being, um, being someone who works at home, particularly if you're a solopreneur, you can get into a bubble of isolation. Mm -hmm. 
right? So community is really, really important. And Bianca brought together an amazing um, group of entrepreneurs who are committed and dedicated to their craft and getting their work out into the world. And membership for me was just the, the start. It, it propelled me into private coaching with Bianca. And baby, you stuck with me now. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Lamar. Okay, so let me start off by saying I'm one of the ones that didn't show up. <laughs> but it wasn't intentional. My schedule is just really ridiculous. But what it did, just being in the membership and coming to Chicago, when I did, it did push me to recognize that I needed one-on-one -on -one because of my schedule. Because mm -hmm. I'm not available to engage in the, the meetings that were scheduled during the day. And I'm not a person that will honestly go back and listen to, to videos immediately. I will at some point, but by then I would have gotten the information the way that I, I did just through the one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm excited, even though I am a part of the other half that paid in full and wasn't <laughs> available. But I am available in my one-on-ones and I am right. very productive. Yes, you and are. In the one-on-one, -on -one, it pushed me to create my um, my videos since I'm not available the way that I, I, I would like to be to clients because I'm only one person. And I've also uh, completed the, the challenge yes, recording you. that. Yes, and so are. I'm excited about all of that because, because of joining the membership, I was able to do what I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm excited. I appreciate that. I'm excited too. Thank you, Lamora. So yeah, Lamora became a private client too. Dr. Fantonia became a private client as well um, for um, from being in membership, you know, to see it. And so I tell you guys all the time, like your high ticket stuff, everybody shouldn't be able to buy that. Like you should really know that these people are the people that I want to spend my time with. These are the people that I don't mind texting me at five o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that I don't mind staying up with to three o'clock in the morning to making sure that their email sequence and everything is right. Like they, they vet you out. Right. And so it's a, an agreement where, you know, I, they pick me, but I got to pick you. And so I think that that's a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, we don't have set in place. Like we want the high ticket clients or the private clients, but you don't want them to pick you. You want to be picking each other so that it could be mutually beneficial. And I think that a lot of times um, we want those people, but when they come, we don't have a process that properly vet those people. And now you're in a relationship with these people for three, six, 12 months, and they don't have their stuff together, you angry, they don't have it. And it's just frustrating because you didn't vet those people. And so for me, 99% of my private clients always come from people who have bought my other products and my other services. And now, you know, we can see how it can um, fit. So Lamora is definitely one of those. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Carista. Hello, hello, Hi. hello. I am one of the ones who left <laughs> and Bianca knows why it was not personal. I was in class from June to the end of July, <clears throat> but um, I, I, I respect Bianca's, you know, I, I respect her as a person. I respect her business uh, work ethics and decisions and everything. I was not able to come back, but the things that I learned and we worked on and put in place from February the end of February, I believe, when I joined to uh, June, um, it stuck. Like when Bianca speaks and 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 tells you something, even it just it just clicks. It makes sense, even if you don't put it into practice right at that moment. Like I was, I was overwhelmed. Like I, said, I went from one certification to the next, from June to July. But when I was ready to come back in August and wasn't able to, I still had those resources that Bianca, you know, provided us and was able to hit five figure months as well. Um, I was posting more. I, I got back into the routine of posting more, doing more reels. Um, my email list is golden. Like people actually respond to my email list. And one of the biggest thing that I struggled with for the longest was getting my digital products out there. And I actually completed my 
um, online education center is what I got, uh, what I call it, my online education center. Right now I got two courses out there, but I'm going to build it to where it's a resource for my clients and put those tiers in place that Bianca talks uh, talks talks about a lot, you know, the lower tiers and then your high ticket items. So for that, not just, you know, I'm appreciative of you, Bianca, and the group, and also the people that I've connected with in the group as well, because it, it's just, it was a great experience so ball. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, Kenya, come on. So I just want to say that um, as a person who is usually the go-to for everybody else it was very refreshing to have a me for me and that's you so all of the things that all of the services all of the ears all of the ideas that I normally would provide for somebody else you gave to me the structure that you have um, the people that you brought together has been instrumental in my life not just my business I've met some great women who have helped me not only in my business, but in my personal, with my kids, with my husband, with my relationship with money, just with, it's a real sisterhood. It's not, um, you know, the typical, let's build each other up, but not really. I love the fact that you are very transparent. You are unapologetically you. And I've learned so much and I'm going to be your next millionaire. So it's on the recording. So it's got to go. Okay. And <laughs> I would tell anybody, if you were on the fence about it, don't come over here unless you're ready. But <laughs> if, if you're ready, she's willing and it's going to happen. So thank you. I love you. I think that you are amazing. You have a gift that keeps on giving. And if they don't come over here, they're not supposed to be. Hey, I appreciate that. Um, again. Okay. Hey, y'all. Hey. hey. And to my boss, uh, in the group. So I've really enjoyed membership and I'm one of those people where as a project manager, Bianca gets it very analytical and sometimes can get in your own way being too analytical. But I love the step-by-step -step approach, the framework you provide us with and just some dope-ass women, to be honest, because these women here... They put y'all push me, um, you know, even though, you know, I may not be on the working sessions or, or the Q&A sessions and stuff, but just see you all to be out here doing the damn thing. It inspires me and to keep and keeps me going, too, you know, but I would say with this membership it's definitely been instrumental as I pivoted my whole business during COVID to now be profitable and now be scaling to a different level is phenomenal and having clients that are, you know, in this group, the sisterhood, you know, Bianca and her education and expertise and knowledge, like, it's just, it's just been dope, like, just an overall dope-ass experience, and Bianca, I definitely appreciate you for, you know, having me be part of this membership, you know, because you got to make sure you like us before we come over here, because you ain't going to work with nobody you don't like, so definitely appreciate that. But, you know, to be around these group of women who are out here doing the damn thing in their respective pursuits has definitely been rewarding. So thank you, thank you all um, thank for, you. for this awesome experience. Thank you. And I think that that's one thing too um, that kind of makes us a different group of women is that we're very coachable. And that's one thing that, you know, I just prayed about is to just have people who are just willing to be coached. And so, so many people are not coachable and they just block their blessing. And I've always been the one that, you know, even though I know what I know, like, I still want to listen to what you got to say. Even if I can't use what you have to say, I still want to be able to listen to what you have to say and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But, you know, that's not, um, that's not for me. Um, and I love the fact that, you know, each of you are coachable and you might not have got it right when I, when it, when I did it in February, but you know what I'm saying? You went back, you did it, you implemented it. Um, and now you have questions. And so that's one thing that I really like, um, about us is that we're just nerds, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a cool nerd and we're all cool nerds, but we really want to learn. And I've never, um, been the people that want to act like they got money and not have money and so I'm very transparent about my numbers and how much money I make we do our profit plan every single month like you know my numbers and my goals and what I'm trying to go 
Um, and so I really like the fact that we're totally invested in becoming our best self. And I think that when you have a group of people that have came together and just really focus on being our best self, you don't have that outside of entrepreneurship is very lonely, right? You're the one that is really trying to do something different and you don't know anybody really to have those conversations with. And if you do know somebody, they ain't trying to give you all the information either because they don't want you to do better than them. So they're not trying to give you secrets and they're not trying to help you get to the next level. Um, but with this membership, you know, we're so forthcoming with, okay, you did that. Well, show me how to do that. Okay, well, let's get in the co-working session and then just figure out together. And so I've been able to group people together who are the same way that I am because that's how I am. Um, but it just wasn't appreciated in the circles that I was in because I'm giving you this valuable information, but then when it's my turn, you want to give me step one through four, even though it's one through 20, like what are other steps at? But in this membership, um, I have just developed a, and cultivated a community um, of people who are really about real women empowerment. And I think that that's why I don't just uh, prescribe to the notion of, you know, the women empowerment movement, because I've been there. I sat on those stages. I go to those events. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the email list. You know what I'm saying? I've been in those circles and I'm just not in those circles anymore because it's just not in alignment with where I'm trying to go and what I think real women empowerment is. But this membership, you know, is the space that I've created to really cultivate what I was actually really looking for. And so, you know, just because you feel like, you know, I've been a blessing to you, you've definitely you've definitely um you know just been a blessing you've definitely been um a blessing to me and so I just really feel like I think that you know this membership has definitely you know, just bought different perspectives because I am so far removed from a lot of things, you know, like I don't help the aspiring entrepreneur and the person that just starting to get started. But this membership gave me the ability to really go back to um, when I first started. I'm sorry. I think that, um, you know, when you first start and you're just so excited and you're just so happy and you just so want to help people, but then, you know, you, you start and then you just kind of develop, I don't want to say a shell, but like this exterior, like, like they don't really want to help or, you know, like they don't really want to do the work, you know, they just want to look like they got money, they don't really want no money, like, you're giving, and you're giving, and you're trying to help, and then for me, it's just like, well, you know, I can just focus on me, I'm cool with what I want to do, like, I know I'm going to do the work, like, I know that I'm not going to give up on me, so let me just kind of focus on me, and so to other people, it's like, oh, she's cocky, you know, other people, like, she don't want to help other people, I'm like, no, I don't want to help people that don't want to do the fucking work, like, I don't, like, I don't, because it's draining, you know what I'm saying, like, you're trying to give these people and show them that they can really be the person that they envision in their dreams, but they come with, you know, past trauma, past hurt, just all this negative stuff, which is not any fault of their own, but that fucking energy bounces over here to you, you know what I'm saying, like, you, that's pulling you down to where you're trying to go, and my goals is, are huge, so, I can't focus on being your fucking counselor and helping you and giving you this and you still not going to do it. Like, let me move from that. Like, let me focus on the people that really want to do it. And so I think that this membership has given me the ability to really focus, work with people that really want this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I think that people that don't look like us, you know, they really, they're really killing it. And, but it's because they have community. And I think that, you know, when I go into these community of people that don't look like me, they're willing to give me the entire playbook, no questions asked, just 
No, they don't ask no questions. They don't care. They literally want to see you win, but they don't look like me. And so I'm like, why can't, why, why we can't do that? Like, why we can't have that? So, you know, me being me, I'm going to all these different things, trying to find that what I see with these other people that don't look like me. Like, how can, how all of them make seven figures? Like, how, how all of them make seven figures? Like, all of them, one made it, bought the information, gave it to the other one. Now they all doing it together. But we, us, never. Like, no, never. We might help one get a seven figure bag, but the other one gonna get jealous because now the one with the seven figure bag got a nine figure bag and you got that nine figure bag based on the information that you gave me. So therefore, uh uh-uh, like you can't do it. So let me get her the wrong information. So now you didn't get her the wrong information and she trusted you and now she out here giving the wrong information because you didn't tell her that this was the right information. And so it develops a cycle. And so for me, it was just like, I don't wanna do this. Like, "Mm, let me back back, you know? And so this membership gave me the ability to really pour my knowledge and expertise into people that was thirsty. And I think we say hungry, but thirsty, you at the bottom, like you so desperate, you know what I'm saying? Like you're willing to take anything right now just to get some level of elevation. And so I think that when this membership started, it started not with women that was hungry, just was thirsty like you just dry you just need some little drop of water to see some light at the end of the tunnel and you've tried so many different things and this was just kind of like the last resort so those people that is really killing this shit was those people that this was their last resort this was all that they had i'm gonna put everything that i have into it so i'm feeding off that energy like shit you want to work okay well let's work like this what you want to do like okay well let's do it you this what you need okay let's do it and so it gave me the energy that I needed to really grow and scale in my business but to also pour into other women to help them get to where they were trying to go and so this membership for for me um, has been way more than a membership and so I wasn't going to do it but when I was looking at these numbers like and I think that I am guilty too like we started off with 91 people we have 48 people left like 48 right and so to somebody that's like well damn I was already at 100 now I'm at 48 like "Mm, maybe I shouldn't do it but as I started to really my assistant was like just ask questions you know what I'm saying like just just ask and see like maybe something happened you know what I'm saying like you don't know what their situation was you know what I'm saying just ask because it is discouraging when you start in January with 91 people and now we in November and it ain't even half it's 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 just a low number so you like but when I started to ask and see like it's like oh okay well no she ain't make no money but she went live every single day. Like she ain't make no money, but her email list went from zero people to 500 people. Her open rate is at 55%. You know what I'm saying? She getting 42 clicks. Like it really made me deep dive into the information to really see like, okay, well maybe it was good. And I was like basing it on a wrong metric. And so that's why I decided to really just come here together um, to really see, you know what I'm saying? Like how we are able to, you know what I'm saying? Like come together and make this shit happen. But um, let me see. I know Tiffany had um, something to say. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Okay. The first thing I want to say is that I am just grateful that you even decided to do the membership. I have been following you for a very long time. I purchased quite a few products and I was just waiting on uh, my opportunity really um, because I know that the things I needed for my business, I wasn't able to afford on a private level. So this membership absolutely opened the door for that opportunity for me and I'm very grateful. Um, Sometimes I feel like I'm not, you know, that kind kind of slid in because like you said, you don't want to really work with aspiring. Well, I'm established in one part of my business, but the pivot is where I'm aspiring for. And this is why I joined the membership. So I kind of, you know, go back and forth with myself about that. But I always, um, even if I don't, if it doesn't click, like when you said in the beginning, I come back to it and implement it, you know, when it clicks for me or when it's, um, you know, fitting for my business. When I get enough products, now I can go ahead and create that funnel because I have more than one product. So I'm thankful for the journey. 
I am thankful for the community and uh, the retreat was just everything to actually experience everybody that came in person. You know, that was just great. I can't wait for the next meetup. And um, I was kind of going back and forth about the next leg, but um, I'm in. <laughs> my, oh, family I'm- tired. my family is tired of me and this, I got to do this, I got to do this. But, you know, I think it'll be on a different level and mm-hmm. I can plan a little bit better. So I, I think it'll still be good. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> okay, well, come on. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Tiffany money. Okay. So um, I thank you guys for, um, you know, just embarking on a journey with me. We definitely have a, a part two that we're going to talk about uh, real quick, but I just want to, you know, welcome the new people that's going to come into this um, community. You'll definitely be able to meet these wonderful women um and learn from them and work with them because I'm definitely about community and so you know you'll definitely be able to meet um my community and work with my community um of women that I have worked with me for the past year um I'm definitely excited for just you know I'm saying the new members who are coming and just know that when you come you know we are very no nonsense here we're very much so let's do this work uh, we work hard, but we definitely play hard. Um, you won't be alone here. And I think that that's one thing that, you know, we have established, like, you know what I'm saying? Like we're a business, but it's so much personal development that happens, you know what I'm saying? Inside of this community. And I think that all of us have the business part, whether you make a lot of money, you don't make no money. Like, you know, your area of expertise, but it's really like, can I get up every day and do this shit? Like, can I, do I believe that I can do it? Like when I don't believe, like who can I reach out and touch and get, you know what I'm saying? Some type of motivation. Like you see so many of us winning that gives you the fuel to be like, well, shit, let me stay up tonight then and do what she said I was supposed to do. Like, oh, okay. Well, she said I got to do this. So let me, you know, let me go ahead and do this. Okay. Like, well, that's what she said. So, you know, let me go ahead and get it to make it happen and so you're just not alone you know if you're willing to be vulnerable and transparent and really just get this shit done you know what I'm saying you will develop you know the tools that you need you will not leave um how you came because I know I really thought that (laughs) you don't do hours of sleep you won't leave how you came and I thought that you know it was just me giving my expertise and really out here but I've learned so much from these women and they've really helped me you know um in my journey as I have you know elevated and transcended and and so I'm good at this business shit and I'm good at some personal development stuff but it's really helped me to take a little bit from each woman you know I'm saying to build myself to make myself a new whole that I didn't even know that I was lacking and so I think that that's what this membership have, has um, has given me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know until you meet other people. Just like you don't know you broke till you meet somebody else that got some money. <laughs> like, like, you know, like you, you don't know until you meet somebody else, but that person is willing to show you, you know what I'm saying? And get you there and so that's what I've learned um in this membership so I hope that you come and embark on this journey um with us and for those that don't like you're missing out and it's okay that you missed out because remember my doors don't open back they only open (laughs) they only open one time so I need you to come into this one time and I appreciate you guys